my sister had been complaining about uh, pain in her leg. That's my sister, Sunita. She'd been complaining about pain in her leg. And shortly thereafter, we were um, told that she was diagnosed with leukemia. It was a diagnosis that rocked Aaron Baines and his family in 2002. Baines' sister battled the disease bravely, but unfortunately lost her fight with cancer at the age of 15. And it shaped my family and it shaped all of us. It, of course, it affected her life and she heard the way she grew up um, and all of her friends, basically everything in her adolescent life um, was in the context of cancer or cancer care. Baines and his family was touched by the care they saw the doctors, nurses and volunteers did not only for their loved one, but others who are fighting cancer. So Baines decided to dedicate his time to raise money towards this effort. Really treat her, our loss, as an opportunity to create a lifetime of positive change in the lives of others. Um, I took on the opportunity to participate in the Man and Woman of the Year Challenge and have been fundraising um, since it began on March 25th, and it's going to be concluding on June 3rd, which happens to be just two days after what would have otherwise been her 29th birthday. The fundraiser through the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada will go towards vital research to pediatric cancer care. I asked Baines what he thought his sister would think of his efforts. Many of my family members and um, who came to Canada with very little and, and throughout our entirety of our lives, giving back was very important. We're, we're observing Sikh Canadians and so was my sister. And even when she was alive, giving back was incredibly important. And I honestly can't think of anything that would make her happier um, wherever she may be uh, looking down on us. If you'd like more information about the program put on by Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada, head to our website citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.